Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nofu Numbata. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for holding it down. I appreciate you. Today I am doing another book review, a book by Kupano Matroa, a South African author, titled Pure Pain. But I'm going to tell you a little story about how I ended up reading the book for the second time in a minute. Let's go. So initially I read Pure Pain in about two years ago and then I was looking for a book to read recently and I felt like a Gubano Macro book because I wanted something very short and not very hard to read so i searched online i'm like oh she's got a new book it was titled evening primrose but then when i read the book i realized no man wait a minute i've read this um only to find that it's still pure pain just titled differently for whatever reason so pure pain follows a story of a young medical doctor named masichaba who is going through a depression so the themes are depression um friendships xenophobia mother-daughter relationships i'd say corruption grief and the struggle to fit in oh and rape forms as part of the themes as well so it is a triggering book you want to check your treat you yourself your mental health before you read the book in the primrose evening title has a heart, heart wrenching whatever so it, it, it can be heart wrenching depending on the type of person that you are it wasn't really heart wrenching for me it was just sad to read some parts of the book but i wasn't really torn or shaken that much i was just intrigued rather than torn if that makes sense it was intriguing how she was able to convey her feelings so that part for me was awesome i could relate to some things just how raw she expressed herself herself for me so that's why for me it was more of an intriguing book rather than a triggering book yeah so one of the themes also is god so she's doing this diary entry as just writing letters to god i guess she's going through a difficult time with losing her brother she has a very messed up social life barely has a social life because she struggles to fit in she has a mom who's very critical as well she has a friend who she loves more than the friend loves her so that's a very another toxic she idolizes this friend so to speak so that's another so she's got a very basically what i'm trying to say is she's just got a very difficult life she's going through a very difficult period so there's glimpses of how also psychologists can mess you even more if you get a very twisted psychologist as well so there's glimpses of how therapy can mess you up even more while it is important but it's important to choose a therapist who knows their story that will not mess you up even more because some do impose their beliefs and how they view life and values so yeah but um i don't want to have spoilers and stuff because it's easy to have spoilers in this book i want to talk about my takeaways from the book should you read it did i think it's a good re read the second time around because i read it before so i'd say that if you are a person who doesn't like reading that much and maybe you are a lazy reader you don't like reading books that are very long you could easily read this one in, in it within a day and then you'd finish so it's a very easy book to read the language is also easy the sentences you use are easy the choice of words easy as well so it's not a very difficult book to read with bombastic words and maybe some hidden language no it's very easy to read in that sense but i would say it's a very shallow book while i am a fan of cubano's work i i'll be very honest and say that her books are very shallow she doesn't really explore the themes and the characters as much as she should i feel like she should you end up having to read between the lines with almost everything and that's not cool we don't know what happens to Mas Chava's friend for example 
how she, we, she doesn't explore their friendship. We don't get to hear this, her, her side of the story, the friend's side of the story. We only hear the Maschaba's side of the story, only maybe that's the point, I don't know, but it feels very shallow and not very nuanced. And I feel like she should, she could do better where that is concerned. Because I feel like that's the case with all of her books, especially Coconuts for me, that was very angering. It was one of, the, one of the books that angered me because I felt like she didn't do justice to the main character. And I feel the same way with this book. It's, it's great, it's easy to read. She's talking about very important issues, but it's not very, it's there's something missing there you know it's a very short book it could have been a much thicker book had she just trusted herself and went all in so it could have been an amazing book so right now it's just a good book not very great not awesome it's just okay it's just a book it's a nice book to read and learn about things so for this reason I'm going to give this book like three stars because I really do enjoy her work but I feel like as an as, as an as an author she should do better i'm sorry i'm sounding like a hater with all the books that i've read but i feel like yeah she should give us more give us go all in don't be afraid to go there because i feel like she's afraid to go there and there's no need to be afraid so yeah that's how i feel about the book it's a beautiful book all her books are beautiful but i will give it to her where expressing the rawness of feelings is important because that for me is one of my passions that i'm able to say my truth and let other people say their truth no matter how uncomfortable it is so the way that the character was able to say the raw feelings and not feel any weird i guess also because she, she was just made, doing a, a diary entry so it made it easy so but it was very encouraging to hear a person saying exactly how they felt so that was awesome yeah, it's a good book to read. I would recommend it definitely, but don't expect too much from it. Thank you guys for watching another review. I'll keep them coming. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you so much. I love you a lot.